Welcome to another official Baby Woke Gnome Guide! Unlike other guides on internet, this guide is very scientific! So, give your full focus, try to follow, and let's getting started! By now you should know that for using a theme on a Flatpak app, you also need the Flatpak theme. The main idea was to bind GTK themes to specific GNOME SDKs, so a theme would be always compatible with a newer GTK version, or it wouldn't work at all. That in practice didn't work very good, for two reasons. First it is very hard for theme creators to support both system and Flatpak releases, and second it is very hard for users to install both Flatpak and system themes. To be fair, I can't really blame the GNOME developers for this bad situation, because there are some other priorities like GTK4 been delayed for almost 2 years now. Anyway, there is a quick workaround on this issue, and perhaps this should have been the default Flatpak behavior, even if it violates sandboxing a little bit. Ooh, and I really hope you have learned Baby Dorians by now, because there won't be subtitles anymore. So, that system files app with add way to dark theme. And if I open tweaks and set a different theme, and more specifically LAN, because I don't have any other, the theme will load normally on files. But now if I open drawing app, that is a flat pack app, it will reject LAN and it will use add Weta instead. I'm going to close that for now, and I will open a terminal, so you can hear my keyboard in full extend. Oof, I need to open a bug on Tylix to remember last size and placement. Console does that and it also has this random colors options, that is so sweet! Anyway, first thing to do, is to see where LAN theme has been installed. And it is under dot themes, which is wrong, because on XDG specifications it should have been under dot local share and themes. I won't change that now, and it doesn't really matter for this guide, but if we want to have better theme support, we at least need to follow the XDG specifications. So, what we want to do now, is to tell Flatpak to look inside dot themes directory. Flatpak override file system equals our theme folder. Yeah, okay. We need root for running that, because that is a global Flatpak override option for everything, and I will come back to that later. Inserting my quantum unbreakable password, and we are done here. And now, if we launch Flatpak drawing again, we will see it will read the system theme. I guess Ramon will find this video very very interesting. So, next let's see what this override actually did, and how we can remove it. Let's go to var, lib, Flatpak, and inspect the files inside there. Most specifically we are interested for the overrides folder, and inside there, there is only a single file named global, that actually hosts the global Flatpak overrides. So if we open this, we will see the file system override we did before. Suppose we want to remove this file system access, and we can simply open this file with the text editor and remove the entry. Yo! I know how to remove lines with them! I just want my cute keyboard sound effect. And so, if we run Flatpak drawing again, it won't get access to themes directory, and it will again load add way to theme. Yatta ne! 